Hi, this is a little tutorial on how to set up a QPW graph and pipe wire on Manjaro and how to make it all work happily together and da 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 because when I personally tried to do it, um, I had a lot of issues. It took me a long time to figure out and I imagine if I had issues, I imagined at least a few other will as well. So this is how to install that stuff. Uh, the reason why you might want to install it is because TLDR, it is like using a software like voice meter to do internal audio routing, but in my opinion, way better. And uh, there's a few other smaller reasons, but we'll get into that later. Um, and yeah, and I'll give a small tutorial after on uh, what to do, how to do other stuff like that. And then, yeah. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is this This is focused around a console-based application. So our terminal or whatever you want to use it as. So um, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, clear the terminal. So this is just some stuff that I was working on before. Um, and then basically this will give us a nice template to work on. So the first thing you're going to want to do as per most usual things is you're going to do sudo pacman dash S Y U or S Y Y U. This will make sure that your entire system is up to date. Um, I'll have one issue right here. This is with Thunderbird. For some reason there's like some like invalid uh, certificate thing that's going on. So that's fine to ignore. But if you're anyone else, it should be fine. So once that's done, um, the other thing that I'm going to recommend doing is you don't have to do this. You can try doing this without, but if you do encounter any issues, this is commonly an issue of it is first off under your hardware. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, you use the 470. I've encountered an issue by not having that installed. Another one is with the kernel. This is actually another big one, which caused me issues for a little bit, is you can't be on um, an LTS kernel, or at least at the time of writing an LTS kernel. Um, I had to upgrade to the 5.17 dash one dash or sorry 5.17.1-3 our linux 517 kernel uh for some reason it just sort of refused to work on the other ones so if you have any issues that might be an issue if not it's probably ideal to not worry about it um and yeah so uh just to fill in with this to install the kernel that you want you basically just hit install it'll ask you a prompt there's asking if you want to confirm that you hit yes it'll install and then it should switch to that one in the next run um I generally like having one other kernel always installed as sort of like a fallback just in case something goes wrong. Um, I don't know if it actually will work as a fallback, but I like to pretend it does and it makes me feel safer. So uh, that's what I do. Um, but once those two things are done, you should be good to go. So to get this working, you'll need to install a few things. Again, you may be able to do this from PAMAC or as it's known, add slash remove software. Um, however, I have not done it there. I don't know if it works there. So I'm gonna use the terminal because I just find it easier, more efficient, a bunch of stuff like that. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, or sorry, I will explain it and then I will explain what you wanna do. So um, currently by default, Manjaro is using something called sudo pacman dash s, that's the command. Sudo being admin, pacman being the package manager dot dash s meaning sync with whatever package you're choosing and in this case manjaro dash uh pulse is the default um this is fine for the most part pulse audio is a test and true system but uh the issue is that it is buggy in a lot of ways and there is other issues too where a lot of people just consider it outdated not as good as it should be um and for this we will need to be switching over to pipe wire um, so that is important to note. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to remove that and you're going to type in pipe wire. If you are on a fresh Manjaro build and you've been using basically exclusively flat packs or very few AUR packages, you should be able to make the switch relatively painlessly. If you encounter any dependency issues, I do not know off the top of my head what you can do, but I can try my best to help you in the comments. Um, but what you basically want to do is you're going to enter that. This is just reinstalling because I've already done this. So when you do this, uh, read the read the commands. But there's it'll ask you if you want to remove the various uh, pulse dependencies and replace them with pipe wire. You want to select yes to basically all of those. Once you do that, what you're also going to want to install is same thing sudo pacman s. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do pipe wire um, dash jack. And once you install that, that just helps with uh, connecting um, uh, PipeWire to a few clients. And then I believe you're good there. You may also need to download um, PipeWire Pulse 
because what that'll do is it'll connect uh, um, pulse audio applications to Pipewire. Um, so I could be wrong about this, but I have it downloaded. You should probably download it as well, just to be safe. And then once you do that, the last thing that I can think of off the top of my head that you will need to install, you don't need to install this, but you know, this is how you get the whole GUI thing that you want is you want to download sudo pacman, obviously again, the command sudo pacman dash S, and then you want to also search for, uh, Q P W graph. Once you do that, same thing, standard install, and you'll get this. As a warning, just a little asterisk at the end of this, sometimes with, um, um, where was it? It was Manjaro Pipewire. Sometimes you actually need to enter S lowercase Y, capital S lowercase Y, um, and then the rest of the command. Um, it just seems to prefer that for some reason. I don't really know what that's about. I haven't experienced that personally before. But once you do that, it should be relatively done. Um, and then we should be good to go. So after that, give your system a restart just to make sure everything's good, everything's stable, whatever, whatever. When you restart, your audio should work like normally. But now if you go to type in KPW graph, you'll actually have this application now. And I think I just opened a second one by accident. Yes, I did. Oopsie poopsie. Um, but what this will do is this effectively causes this to run in the background. It will be a little spaghetti mess when you first launch it, but it isn't too hard to sort out. So... Now let's explain what this is for the uninitiated. And uh, if your colors are off, no, that's fine. By default, they come as this. Personally speaking, I don't really like the green. I prefer the magenta color more. So I just simply changed it to the more uh, magenta looking color just because that's a personal preference thing. Um, really each to their own and whatever else have you. Um, but now time for a quick explanation, quick rundown, and then I'll also show you how to do it with OBS and how to actually... Uh, share audio over discord as well. So first things first is that um, You have a couple of different things as you can see under view colors. You can see what each color is supposed to mean um, the most standard one that you will have most likely will be the uh, audio ones and then you may also have MIDI if you have any sort of musical instrument devices type things connected to your computer it's not super common um, as a, this is designated hardware um, but if you are a person who does musical stuff you will see those appear as well same thing with the MIDI bridge um, however for most people what they will just see is this that sort of section right there so from there, um, basically the way that it works is you have these nodes and a, and, a, and a node on the left side is considered an input and a node on the right side is considered an output. A good way to think about it, if you're not super easy down, whatever, with this lingo, basically left side is like a microphone. The right side is like a speaker. Um, so it's super easy to think of after that. So now I'm going to show you a few pa practical applications and how to uh, do them sort of as a mini tutorial. So the first application is let's say you're a streamer. Um, so over here, I have a track that I published to Spotify recently uh, called Bauf or BAU5, depending on how you want to be. And basically right now, as you can hear, or as you cannot hear, there's actually no song playing through the mic. Uh, there's some playing through the desktop audio, but I should have that muted in editing. So there shouldn't be anything to hear. Um, and as, and if we drag over this, you can see here, my mic is being detected and it's coming through desktop audio, but again, I'm gonna mute that in post. So it shouldn't be there. Um, if it is there, I screwed up my bad, but what we can actually do now is we can actually add it to a separate channel so that it's editable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause that just to make sure it doesn't accidentally destroy the audio. And this is how you can set up a virtual input with OBS on an application by application basis. And this does work with games, I'm just using Spotify because it's an easy example. Anyway, so how to do this is basically once you select the Jack input client, all that you need to do is that you need to basically name it. I recommend naming it something intuitive. In this case, I am going to use this input for anything music that I don't want um, to be in the final edit. So, um, you know, stream might hear it for whatever reason, but there's multiple reasons in post editing that I might not want that to be the case. So I'm just going to name this something like um, music. Um, now, this is also something that I want to explain for the list music initiated for you. So we can see here we have this new node here in Pipewire that's already, or not Pipewire, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, QPW graph. 
Um, and you can see this little node called music. That's what we just created. Now, with what I was saying with mics is that, uh, the mics and speakers thing is that the number of channels is effectively how many speakers you have, or sorry, how many mics you have. So if you have one, you know, you have one and you can see them being created as they're created. Um, you can have up to eight as far as I'm aware. Um, to give you a small bit of context with this, um, just for those of you who are less initiated, um, microphones, guitars, uh, stuff like that. Think of it basically as one cable is generally only one channel. Um, basically, when in doubt, you can use mono. The other option is is you can use duo or stereo or two speakers or whatever you want to call it. What two is, is it's like most music videos, how you have a left and right channel and you can hear stuff in your left ear, but not in your right and vice versa. So both work. Generally speaking, I would use two by default, even though I just said when, it, when in doubt, use one. Um, two is actually probably a better default. And then worst case scenario, you can just mute one track and whatever else works for you. Um, and then there's not really any strong reasons to use more than one unless you're trying to stream like a movie, like copyrighted footage and you're um, trying to emulate the surround sound, but there's not really a reason for most average people to want to do that. So one or two should be all you need. Um, leave start jack server unticked and then select okay. Once you do that, you can see our new output is created here. So going back to the video, if I hit play on my music, I can personally hear it right now. Ideally, you shouldn't be able to. So in this instance, what I'm then going to do is we can see the little Spotify node right here. Um, generally, the front uh, or sorry, the left and right speakers will be labeled. So you can see here that we have front left and then we have front right. If we drag front left to the upper channel, because that's just how it normally works and everything is the top most of the right, the bottom most of the left. Or sorry, the top most is the left, the bottom most is the right. If there's only two inputs, if there's more than that, it's kind of a mess from what I've experienced. But if we do that, now you should be able to hear in both channels, there's actually audio coming. There's, there's music, and you can see that OBS is actually recognizing it as well. Now, the issue is that right now I can't edit this out because I didn't set it up properly. So if we click the little gear, and we select Advanced Audio Properties, you can see there's multiple tracks here. And if I disable the track, so it's like this, these are all the tracks where the audio is being outputted to. Um, so just like how we had input tracks, these are like output tracks for the video. So in a video using standard formats, you can have up to six outputs. I think I've only seen OBS support up to six outputs. So what I like to do is I like to have one individual track for each thing and the six is a master just as like a recovery in case something goes wrong or what have you. Um, it especially works nice for like Twitch streams where you know you need to have that master out. Um, so from here, what we can also do is I'll close this down now is again, I can edit this. I can adjust the music volume in here so you can hear the music being adjusted like in real time and whatever else have you. So for instance, I'm just going to pause this now because that was one example. Again, that can work with a game or any other application. The only thing I want to point out, which is kind of an intuitive thing, which some people don't expect, is that if you close down certain applications and what have you, the application will just disappear. So you can see the little Spotify node right there. If I close Spotify, it's gone. Um, this is kind of a pro and a con pro is that it keeps the graph looking cleaner. Con is that you don't know what's routed where. So if you start it up, you kind of got to hope that it doesn't autoplay something because it might accidentally, you know, send somewhere you don't want it to be. But as you can see too, as long as you didn't shut down the graph, it should auto reconnect once it's all configured, uh, might need to hit play first. There it is. Um, now, as I just alluded to, you also do have an issue where sometimes the audio doesn't actually, like the routing doesn't persist between loads. I haven't had that happen personally. I find once you create your first save file, it's fine. So let's show you how to do that real quickly. So to create a save file, all you have to do is select patch bay, save as. I'd navigate to a folder that's good. For me, I'm just in my documents folder because this is effectively down to a system by system basis. And I named this zero, zero, patch 0002. In this case, I'm just going to name it 00. Whoa. <laughs> that's not what I expected. Patch 0003. 
had my numlock off. That's why I had that issue. And then I'll just hit save and then there we go, easy as. Now for the last thing that I'll show you how to do real instantly and quickly is how to do potential uh, Discord screen sharing with audio over uh, Linux, which is currently an issue because Discord itself currently does not natively support um, audio with screen sharing. So Discord is open on another monitor. So I'm just gonna to navigate to my server real quickly for privacy sakes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm then gonna launch uh, this little server. Thank you, Linux, for being a tiny bit glitchy during a video. But we can see here we have my little voice channel, people on the server, uh, link in the description if you want to join. It's mostly just a friends thing, but hey, come be a part of the friend circle. And anyways, from here, what we can then do is we can select the channel just as an example. In this case, I'm going to select the AFK channel. The AFK channel here, what this does is this actually works as a sort of input-output. So if we go back to the graph software, I don't know why it wasn't liking life right now. Yeah, it isn't liking life right now. So what we're gonna have to do real quickly is we're going to, wow, why is this being so glitchy right now? Ah, there we go, it loaded. Um, maybe not having fun. Um, I think what happened is that because I accidentally launched it twice, I think it was not having fun and it was trying to run two instances at once. So I'm gonna close this and restart it without saying anything, editing it should be fine, and there we go. Um, okay, back. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. The software's having an issue. Basically, just if you ever have an issue like that, basically just go up here, right click, quit, and then you should be able to relaunch and you're all fine. Anyways, um, so this is the software that I'm using for my little character that you see in the corner. So we're going to ignore that for now. Um, and then carrying on, we can see that we have this, we have, um, web w uh, sorry web rtc engine there's two instances of this we'll we won't worry about that too much for now all that you need to know is that yours doesn't have discord on it because i renamed mine if you want to rename yours for memory of sake you can just select rename and then rename it to whatever you want i recommend very strongly naming it something that is not like a keyboard mash and it's descriptive because if you have to sort through these random nodes testing everything your eardrums will not thank you um Anyways, to carry on, so what we have now is we have a few different things, which is a little bit of a mess, but we can work through it. So generally speaking, this node right here, which automatically connects to your mic that you should have set through Discord, um, which in this case is this, was automatically connected, and then it goes to Plasma PA, which is effectively just your output speakers. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm actually going to um to again like let's say we're, we're we're streaming an application or like i really want to show my friend the song or what have you what i'll do is i'll just take the spotify output just like before we'll hook up the plug into it and then now anybody who is in your server with you should actually hear or sorry in the call with you should hear the audio i will note that all audio adjustment is on your side meaning that if you just try and spam or anything like that the only option for other people is to mute or kick you um sorry turn your audio down mute you kick you or ban you um so you know don't be one of those little shits who spams you know outdated memes in the chat because nobody likes you uh <laughs> and yeah that's essentially it um the last few things i'll mention is like let's say you want these little nodes up here all that you have to do is like view and then just check the ones that are right here if you want to zoom in or out for whatever reason there's this little magnifying glass thing here the only thing that you need to do on top of that is just hold or sorry the other option you can do is hold control and then middle mouse wheel in and out um, like scroll wheel specifically, not just clicking. Um, and outside that, that's essentially everything that you need to know about the software and you can essentially just get creative with it. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you want to listen to that song, it should be on my YouTube or in Spotify, if you prefer, or really any major platform. If you want to use, uh, like, or subscribe, that'd be amazing too, if this helped out. Um, if you have any issues, comment and I'll do my best to help you. I am not an expert on the software by a long shot. However, I don't mind helping, uh, those in the community. And if there's anything else that, uh, you want to comment on or what have you, uh, feel free and, uh, dislike it even though those are meaningless now. Uh, have a good day and see ya.